the London Vein Center project is an aspiration based on the success of our previous activities in Brazil for more than 20 years and currently in Portugal for 10 years. And why talk about the static and function? Aren't those broken vessels always an aesthetic problem? Do they, those thicker veins always cause problems? But today we know that many patients with varicose veins having hidden internal problems and not always the lack of pain means that varicose veins will not cause problems. That is why we evaluate legs as a whole. And now I am ready to tell you about phlebology, that is the field of medical sciences dedicated to vein problems and the most important of course is varicose veins of the lower limbs that may affect almost two-thirds of the adult population. And as there is no phlebology medical specialty in most countries, who is the phlebologist? And he is a medical doctor trained in surgery with specific skills and knowledge to diagnose vein problems comprehensively. So he is a vein expert trained for this. So, uh, which skills and knowledge, besides dexterity and experience, we should learn to use the newest technologies and techniques to understand the venous hemodynamics, and thus providing greater chances of success in achieving legs that are healthier and prettier? Well, venous problems uh, comprehends a wide range of problems from mild telangiectasias to venous ulcers, phlebites, thrombosis, and much more else. And the rationale is this, that sometimes the leg seems to be healthy, but there are some hidden problems that we should look for. And sometimes the leg is just ugly, but there are some hidden problems too. And sometimes the leg is just ugly, just a superficial problem without no further consequences because there is no underlying condition. But we should be able to diagnose at the first visit if the patient has a potential of complications or not and from where those veins, small or bigger, are coming. We may use this tool like infrared imaging to map all underlying conditions before starting a treatment so we can not only find more veins to treat but also treat it more thoroughly. And this device, the near infrared laser, is very helpful, is also known as the Superman X-ray vision. We can use it to see the underlying veins and uh, these veins are not too deep to be seen by ultrasound and not too shallow to see by a naked eye and so this device is very helpful and also helps to diagnose and to treat the veins. We have been doing for the past 20 years the ultrasound of our own patients and it is very important that the scan is done during the first visit to have a comprehensive diagnosis so the same surgeon that will treat the leg scans the leg so there is no missing information and help us to have not only a better diagnosis but also to realize what is the better selection of techniques to use for each case and also you use it uh, in the follow-up visit to confirm success or failure of treatments and not only this to see how the disease will evolve as time passes well the reason to invest that much uh, in diagnose is that without the comprehensive diagnose we will not be able to understand the problem and not be able to offer the best tailored technique for each case 
And it is important to know that bigger veins are linked to internal trunk veins not working well in over 75% of the cases. Uh, so the lack of perfect diagnosis causes failure to succeed, increases the risk of complication and waste of money and lack of trust in medical science and also in doctor. So during the first visit, we have a an, an comprehensive interview and a 360 degrees leg examination as most detailed as possible. And we use the augmented reality and also do the venous mapping with ultrasound to have a comprehensive diagnosis. After this detailed investigation, the patient we will receive just after the first visit a written venous report, treatment plan, and estimate of costs. Our venous map is really pristine, is very detailed, and contains an infographic with the main landmarks, and is therefore more understandable and pedag pedagogical both for the patient and for the analysis of other doctors. And the patient receives an information manual where several common doubts are explained and where the techniques are explained as well, and including the possible risks and complications and how to avoid them. And this is all part of a broader informed consent. The liquid sclerotherapy or microsclerotherapy is a very gentle technique used to treat minor problems and sometimes we may treat that uh, those bluish veins and with very high grade of success like something from 85 to 95 percent after three to five sessions and the uh, dense form sclerotherapy is generally guided by translamination or by echo doppler and being a gentle and safe technique and has become a substitute for surgery in many cases, especially in patients with more advanced degrees of varicose veins and leg ulcers. The 10 finger techniques cryotherapy is a technique that we have developed that allows to reduce the pain of the sting and increase the success rate of injecting precisely into the vessel. Also important was the introduction of a specific laser for vascular treatment in a gentle, safe and effective way. The 1064 nanometers YAG laser is a precise tool and can be combined before and after sclerotherapy with injections in the same session to maximize results. And the echo-guided sclerotherapy is currently one of the best techniques to treat patients where surgery is not capable of doing, not requiring so cuts, stitches and rest. And for more than a decade, it has been one of the techniques that has grown most in use. The treatment of the saphenous vein with the endovenous laser has become over the past 20 years alongside the radio frequency as the gold standard technique for the treatment of this vein. However, our differential is to make the treatment only with local anesthesia, being able to return activities normally on the same day. And right, the microsurgery performed under 2% local anesthesia has become the preferred technique in our clinic for those more superficial and thick varicose veins 
as it allows immediate resolution of the problem with little aggression to the organism and it, it is a delicate and elegant technique requiring no more cuts and stitches only small holes in the skin. A Flabo Suite is an office based room where all the equipment needed for a mini invasive procedure to be performed safely and effectively requires augmented reality equipment and laser and radio frequency generators and a state of the art ultrasound scanner and replaces the operating room in 98% of cases of varicose veins. Here you can see uh, several cases of before and after treatments for telangiectasias, feather veins, reticular veins, and also varicose veins. All of these treatments are done under local anesthetic or no anesthesia at all using the state-of-the-art techniques. We have been giving training to doctors from the whole world uh, from the past 10 years in Brazil and now in Portugal too. And we hope to have these classes also in the UK. With great satisfaction, I have been invited as a speaker in the field of phlebology in several congresses around the world, but what really interests me is always to learn more and share my experience and knowledge with my colleagues uh, in the benefit of all patients. I have been living in this world of science, technology, grabbing my experience to help patients to achieve uh, legs without varicose veins that are healthier than that are prettier and offering all these fully off sea based walk in walk out treatments. So, in summary, the feature of varicose veins treatment is now, and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.